buddies. Good evening, everybody. I'm Amy. And tonight, tonight's live around five is four more stressors that entrepreneurs typically deal with. We had so much feedback about the first three stressors, which I consider to be the main ones. You can check out the previous video. I wanted to give you the next four and solutions for them, because one of the things that you might be dealing with are trying to manage employees or teams. You know, in the MLM structure, you're going to be growing teams. And maybe if you're in a place where you're having Maybe you've got a social media team. Maybe you've got someone who's doing your accounting, someone who's doing your coaching with you, team members. That adds a lot of layers of work there. And so I want to do to recommend to you to stay in your zone of genius. If the reason that you got where you are is that you're an incredible artist, but now you've gotten to the point where you don't get to do art anymore, you're doing everything else, let's get you back in that zone of genius. Let's partner with other people, outsource any sort of management. Perhaps you're ready for a COO level employee that could manage all the pieces that you don't want to so you could get back to what's good. Next is just a competition and market changes. I mean, we've all seen newspapers. We all know about Blockbuster. What you might not know about Blockbuster, which used to be a store that you could go in and rent videos in before everything was streaming online, is they had a chance to buy Netflix and thought that's ridiculous. Why would we buy Netflix? So it's really important that when that pivotal moment in your arc happens, you recognize it and you see how industry shifts might be impacting your business model and what you can do about it. The best way to do this is to insulate yourself by doing every six months an assessment of what's working, doubling down there, and what's not working and eliminating that. Maybe you'll have a chance to pivot like Blockbuster did. You'll still stay in the movie business, but you'll start doing it with a different model. Maybe you'll look for an exit strategy and move on to the next thing that you're going to be great at. But either way, you need to really be aware of market competition. Next is decision making. It can be super exhausting when you're the head honcho and you're making decisions every single day all the time. So the best way to do this is to start realizing when am I my best? Am I a morning person and I can get up and really just the day is flowing? I will execute and check things off my list. Or am I more of an evening person where that's when I should be making these big decisions and it's quicker and easier for me? The next thing would be to trust and believe your gut. Are you going to be making mistakes when you make decisions? You better believe it. But the faster you fail forward, the more you're going to grow and the quicker your business is going to become the success that you know it can be. Next is going to be your time management, which is really tricky for entrepreneurs. Obviously, there's only so many hours in the day and you've got to balance a lot of different things, whether it's operations, you know, strategic planning, what you're doing with your customer interaction, vendor work, all of that. So I want you to think about having strategic pockets of time where you just say, this is an admin hour of my day every day. And so if something comes up where it's going to be in that bucket of work, I'm going to put it to this three to four hour each day. So I know I can really drill down and focus on it. The next thing is to make sure you do your hardest task first once you start to address it. When you do this, it is actually a psychological trick and it changes your whole flow of your day. If you're working dreading this big difficult thing the whole day, that's not going to go well for you because that whole dread is pulling away your energy. When you get that big success right out of the gate, it's going to help you move throughout the day. The other point is that the hardest things are often the things that will really move the needle for us on our businesses. So by choosing to do those, first and foremost, you're going to grow faster. And last but not least is the loneliness and isolation that can come with being an entrepreneur, especially in the age of COVID when a lot of us have been working from home and that has continued. And if you're in a business that doesn't have teams and feels very isolating, this could be a real consideration. So first, I would recommend that you join some sort of a local business group, whether it's a chamber of commerce, the many that are out there. This can also be huge for networking, but that's not really why you're going. You're really going to create kind of synapses, relationships, people you can bounce things off of and a place where you can, as an entrepreneur, be belly to belly with other business people who get what you're doing. The next thing is going to find online communities that are about that. Whether you're a video editor or a social media you know, manager, there are going to be different groups. And you're, of course, you're going to be solicitation in those groups, but they're going to be different groups where you can join like-minded people that have the same similar experiences. So once you handle those different challenges, I'm telling you, if you identify them 
and manage them, your whole business is going to be transformed. Because when we know what the stressors are and we have strategies to address them, we've changed the game in our favor. And I can't wait to see kind of how you're able to use these. I'm particularly focused on a few of these this year, moving those down the field. I do a fairly good job at a few of them, but I've still got a few to implement. So I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow, live around five. And I hope you have an amazing night. Love you guys.